welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a cold cast using resin and brass in this silicon mould that I made from this paper mache um, torso that I made about 20 years ago I should think. It was my first go at using paper mache. I'd never used it before. All I've done to allow this to become a mould was I did spray this with some gloss finish spray and I made the mould in exactly the same way as I made the mould for my egg and the other moulds I've made and if you want to see how I make an easy way to make a mould just click the video above. All the materials that I've used today including the mould making stuff I will put in the description. I'll put the links in the description using my Amazon affiliate links. So what you're going to need for this project is some resin and I you don't want to use a slow cure resin for this you absolutely want to use a, a resin that's going to cure as quickly as possible. You'll need some bronze metal powder here, some zero zero steel wool and it's really important to use zero zero steel wool. You're going to need an old brush this because you can't use it again after that something to mix in and also you're going to need a little bit of black pigment as well as there are several stages to this even though it is really easy and I'm going to show you the quick and easy method that gives you the great results you could do this with any mold that's got a pattern in um, like this so without too much further ado let's get on with it so I'm going to mix my resin up. So I'm using a one-to-one -one resin that actually has about a 30 minute pot life for it. And I'm mixing it in these little pots because I'm going to just chuck these away because I always find that it makes a bit of a mess to your pots sometimes using bronze metal powder. So I've measured up so that it, they're all exactly the same because I shall need that amount of part A, that amount of part B and equal amount of part A or part B of the bronze powder powder that I'm using. So I've let that sit for a little while and degas, not for long. Now I'm going to put this in. What you've got to remember is brass is really, or, or bronze is really heavy. So it will be um, something that you need to keep mixing to ensure it just doesn't all fall to the bottom. And I want to make sure that that's all mixed in really, really well. Now it is going to produce a lot of bubbles but you'll see in a minute that actually that doesn't matter because we will be getting rid of those bubbles anyway in the technique that we'll be using so as you can see that's nice and bronze but now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of black pigment to this and when I say a little bit I really mean a little bit because this is a really strong pigment and as you can see that is all I'm adding to this it's a resin pigment because I don't want it to overpower what I've got in here but I do want it to give it a slight color to it as well but like I said this will sit float to the bottom now I'm gonna let this rest now now this is a 30 minute pot time uh, resin I'm gonna let this rest now for about 15 minutes but I'm gonna keep checking on it because I don't want it to cure up too much and I'll show you the consistency that I want it to be at when it's there so this is the consistency that i've waited it to get to as you can see it has thickened up quite a lot um and that's going to save a bit of work now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour this into this mold spreading it around i might not need all of it and if not then i can use that for something else and then what you do is you take the brush and you paint it all around where you want it to be. So I want it to be all the way on the mould. And you keep doing this probably for about, I don't know, it might take you about 10 minutes. I listen to music while I'm doing it. Um, because what you want to do is you want to get it to a really nice sticky consistency. So it's almost setting up. Uh, so this bronze actually stays where you want it to be and as you can see this is why um, The brush is dead after this It's never coming back 
And this way you can make sure you get it in all those bits. Of, and as well, this is another reason why you don't have to worry too much about bubbles at this stage. Because really, you're not going to make any difference if you um, have lots of bubbles in this. Because you're going to put some in it using this sticky, gloopy mess. Oh, it's not a mess. It's going to give you a great result. So as you can see now, this has got really, really thick thick and very gel like I'm just doing my last brush over pushing it up to the edges and then that's it now the reason we don't fill it all up with actual uh, the bronze and resin is because actually two reasons bronze is very very heavy and it makes the actual thing quite heavy although you do want a little bit of weight behind it and also it's not cheap so why use it to fill up an area that you're not going to see but you'll still get exactly the same great results from so we'll come back to it and we'll show you how or i'll show you how uh, you get this really nice bronze effect and create what looks like a really really expensive bronze casting this is cured now so i can touch that if i need to <laughs> not that i need to and i've mixed up my next lot of resin which is just the normal one-to-one -one resin. And um, I've got that and it, it, it's just been sitting in the pot for about five minutes. All I'm gonna do to this is, because this is just a filler, um, but just in case anything does come through, I'm gonna take a bit of the black, not a great deal, that amount, look. And I'm gonna pop that in there and I'm gonna mix that up. So it's actually got a black color as opposed to a clear color. And there we go, that's the sort of color. It's not completely opaque, but it's getting there. So it's almost opaque, but just a little bit translucent. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be filling up the rest of this casting with this. I'm not going to fill it right up to the top because I can always trim away any extra bits that need trimming away. One of the other things that you must do as well is put a hook in it now, nicely in there, really solid before it cures. And it's not going to go all the way down because it's uh, already half of it's already cured. And I've just made this out of a piece of coat hanger. So I'm literally going to pop that there and then I'm going to take a larger stick where I want it and just let that sit there like that. This is cured nice and hard now so we're going to take it out of the mould and obviously you're seeing this at the same time as I am. And there we go. So we've got a little bit here slightly overrun but they'll just pull off okay and that is now recessed nicely into there and what it looks like now is it just looks really a bit dull and a bit um nothing a bit bleh. but we are going to change that so the first thing that we need to do we're going to go over it with a bit of I use 99% uh, alcohol, you can use mineral spirits, you can use quite um, surgical spirit, but I usually go over it with alcohol and it just gets rid and helps remove that very top layer. But don't let it pull on here, you don't want it to be on here for too long and it just kind of dulls up what we've got here. Just takes that shine out. Then, we get our steel wool, and this must be zero, 00 steel wool. I will put the link to it in the description, because if not, it will really scratch it up. And what we're actually looking to do is kind of bring out that bronze and polish it. And this is quite cheap. You can get this from um, Amazon and, and lots of different um, online stores, but I will put the link to it. Now you'll see what will happen. I'm 
And what this does is it polishes up that bronze that's in there and brings it really out, especially over the highlighted areas. So there we go, that's now been gone over with the steel wool, but we need to have a little bit of contrast on that. And I will give it a, just a quick polish with a cloth as well, which will bring it up and you get that really nice bronze effect. But we do need a bit of contrast on that. And the way that I will put some contrast on that is with normal um, shoe polish, black shoe polish. So I've got some black shoe polish here and I'm just gonna go over it like so. Not too much, I don't want too much on it, but I want it to give it look like a patinaed effect. Give that a bit of a polish in with the brush. And then I'm gonna just quickly go over that with the cloth and get all the excess off that I don't want on there. There we go. Oh, I love how that's come out. I think it's come out really, really great for an old uh, little paper mache sculpture I did. If you want a little bit more black in there, then you can put a bit more black in there. And then what I'll do is, so it doesn't dull, once I've given it about 10 minutes for that polish to dry, I will go over it with the crystal clear seal. So then it will keep its, its kind of patina and it will stop it from getting dull, really. Now, I also did this little skull, and I have no idea how this is going to come up because I had a little bit of this um, bronze resin left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over this with the uh, wire wool, and we will see how it comes up. These are finished now. They've had their coat of uh, spray varnish. I love the way the skulls come out, and I love the way that the bronze has picked up on the teeth. And it's not too heavy at all, although it is heavier than the normal pieces of cast resin, obviously, because it's got the bronze powder in it. And this isn't over heavy because I filled it with the um, normal clear resin and I put the hook on it as well to hang it up on the wall. And it will hang up on the wall really, really easily now. So I hope you like this project and I hope it's given you the encouragement to try some cold casting because it actually is really, really easy and you can get some great results with it as well. If you like my video, please hit the like and please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you want to see some more and get more tips and tricks, then join my Facebook group, How to Resin with Steve McDonald. And I'm more than happy for people to join it, ask questions, post videos. Uh, you know, there's not that many restrictions other than let's be nice to each other and be kind and helpful. So thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye.